All right, Jasper Active Excel, lesson six, and we got two more exercises, printing charts and using quick access tools. So let's start with printing charts, which should be pretty quick. And then we'll cram in the next one. So let me bring this up front so we can see what we're doing. It says, make sure you're on sheet one. Yes, we are. Click any cell outside of the pie chart. There you go. And click file and then print. And notice it gives us two pages. I don't know why two pages? Let's see. Oh, you see that? We're losing our spark lines. Okay, so let's try changing from portrait to landscape orientation. Hey, we get our spark lines back. Okay, now click the back button. Click in a blank area inside the pie chart. Now go to file print and notice it's just printing the chart change it from portrait to landscape ooh nice big chart next now click the back button click a blank cell outside of the pie chart click chart one worksheet tab and click file print and there it is. That's what it would look like. Okay. Uh, let's submit it and get it. Woo, 100% for printing. Next, let's add the final exercise for lesson six if Jasper Active is going to cooperate with me. There we go. Using the quick analysis tool. This is actually kind of handy. Here we go. It says select cell range B5 to G12. Like that. Notice as soon as I did that, this little box popped up. That is a quick analysis tool. You can also do control Q for quick and it pops it up. And we have some different things we can do. Notice it puts data bars in there then move the mouse to point over each of the other ones so we get color scale icon set greater than top 10 percent or you can clear notice there's other tabs here too so let's click the greater than conditional format for now and in that data box we are going to select 5000 or type in 5000 and we're not going to change the text. We're going to leave it how it is, light red with dark red text. Okay. All right. So that was pretty quick formatting. Now, in the quick analysis box, click it again, or remember, Control Q will get it when you have that data selected. We're going to clear the format. Then select cells A4 to G12 and in the quick analysis now that we have the headers and this top left one is blank let's see what we can do let's do charts and hover over look at that we can do a clustered column again uh, there's two of them Let's do this one on the left, the first one. And then drag the chart to a new position underneath the data. Next. Now select cells A15, excuse me, A5 to G12 again. And in quick analysis, uh, you're going to do totals. And then hover over, notice it'll put different totals, different places. We're going to do the sum option on the right. So this one over here. And let's go back there. Total sum option on the right. Notice there's an arrow here. Let's see. Um, Scroll to the quick analysis menu. Uh-huh. 
click in the blank area of the worksheet and now we're going to insert spark lines so select cell ranges b5 to g12 quick analysis again and check out the spark lines we're going to do column Oof. and i think i got too much going on here so let's select that oh hang on just a second i'm gonna undo the last two things i did now do spark lines column and it should look like that there we go that should give me my hundred percent let's submit it see what happens boom hundred percent here comes the badge dance bum, 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 bum. Ooh, that's nuts no that's squirrels with nuts oh the speedster look at that that's a new badge i've never seen it i gotta do all kinds of badge dancing now I'm going to stop video and do it.